Has anybody ever lived on a farm by applause? By applause? Not very many, huh? How about flown over a farm? How about that one? I'll never forget it. I was, I was ready to have the adventure. We, we pulled up to his 100-year-old family farm. The shutters were coming down. The roof had holes in it. It had, it had a, a, a refrigerator on the front porch and Christmas lights that were still up, a couch. It was a cross between Duck Dynasty and Honey Boo Boo is what it was. <laughs> so that was my first experience with the farm. So we drove up and I looked at it and tears welled up in my face. And my husband said, what's wrong, baby? I said, well, where are the people? He said, you are the people. <laughs> He said, I thought to myself, I didn't know I couldn't just sip mint juleps on the front porch, that I had to sweep the front porch. And then he said to me, but baby, you could do whatever you wanted to this place. And I said, can we burn it? Because <laughs> I'd be so lonesome out there. I was just so lonesome. I would just, my husband would go on the road and I'd be in this little bitty town where there were no... We had no neighbors, we just had corn and soybeans, and, and um, the UPS guy stopped coming to my house. He'd just throw the package on the front door. I can't talk to you today, Mrs. Townsend, because I'd be so lonesome. I'd get up in the morning, and people thought I was nuts, because I'd have to, like, ask myself questions and answer my own questions. What are you going to do today? Oh, I don't know. Get the mail, maybe? Answer the phone, maybe? We didn't even have any high speed out there. I remember on my first birthday on the farm, it's absolutely true, my husband gave me six chickens. <laughs> and soon I had 286 chickens. He said, let's eat the chickens. I said, eat the children? He said, let's eat the eggs. I said, eat the babies, babies. I said, you go to the grocery store and get some of those homeless eggs, those I could eat. Because I don't know about a farm. One morning when the kids were really little, he, he woke me up one morning and you know, I did everything big like show business. I would always put my eyelashes on and put on my, $70 Reeboks and my, my Under Armour outfit. And one morning he woke me up and he said, let's go pull a calf. I said, you know, I hate aerobics. Cause I didn't really know what that meant. Do you know what that means? That means a cow is giving birth. I did not know, so I got all dressed up. I had my Reeboks on, and we start walking out there and thinking, I'm gonna meet somebody. <laughs> and as we, as we got closer to our prize cow, our sweet little prize cow, there was like, this cow was like mooing really bad. It was like, it was just pitiful, and there was a thing coming out the back part. <laughs> there was like a, a face that was pulled and little hoofs. <laughs> it was just, it looked like a smurf, some kind of a smurf thing. And my husband said, this cow Leslie will die if we don't help her. So I ran to the front of the cow and went, <gasps> <laughs> He said, do something. I said, you're having my baby. <laughs> he said, what can I do? I have my $60 Reeboks on, but he was great. He's a great, he's, a, he's like a farmer slash musician, if you've ever met one of those people. He's got in the back of that cow. This is a true story. I wish I was making some of this up, actually. <laughs> he got in the back of that cow, and he took those little bitty hoofs, and he started to pull, and he pulled, and oh, oh, it came out. 
and everything else came with it. I said, put that stuff back in, it looks important. 